Hi, I'm Ian Vardy, CEO of Eagle Business Credit, talking today about what makes up an invoice. So there are many parts to an invoice and you can break it down quite easily into a number of key important things that should appear on the invoice. Obviously, the name of the supplier or seller should be on there, front and center. So the name, the address, the contact information should all be there. The date of the invoice should appear on there. That's the date of the sale, whether it's goods being delivered or service being performed. Again, it should be in line with the contract that you have. There should be an invoice number. It should be a unique number. So if you've bought from that vendor before, it should be a different number to what you had before. There should be an itemized list of the goods or services that the invoice is billing you for. So if you've received a supply of a thousand widgets, it should detail widgets, quantity 1,000. If it's a service, maybe it's for staffing services, it will list who those people were, how many hours they worked. So it's got to be detailed. You've got to know what you're actually being billed for. And again, it should be in line with the purchase order that you raised to your vendor or the quote that you received, whatever the agreement was, the invoice quantity and description and price, very importantly, should match those terms. There should be a grand total then of all of the items on the invoice. So that's the amount that you now know that you need to pay. And obviously there should be a due date. Now, some companies don't put an actual date that the invoice is due, they may just put terms. And those terms could be 30 days, could be 60 days. You really need to look at that in detail to know when the invoice is actually due. And again, it should be in line with your conversations that you've had with your vendor. Also importantly is where to send the payment and again that information should appear on the invoice. Some companies maybe they just want you to mail a check to the address that they have on the invoice. Other companies may offer a website to go pay by credit card or electronically. Some companies will send their invoices electronically these days. You can click a link, link your bank account and pay them directly. Nice and easy. But just be clear who you are paying. It's very easy to pay the wrong party. With a factoring company, they're going to put on their information as well. It's going to appear as a legend on the invoice. It may say that the invoice has been assigned to XYZ factors and have an address on there. So if your vendor is using a factoring company, the payment instructions on where to send the payment to the factor will be detailed on the invoice nice and clear. Again, paying an invoice, reading an invoice, very important so no mistakes occur payment is made on time, you've paid the right party. An invoice should have all that information. If your invoice seems to be lacking some information, get in contact with your vendor right away and make sure that the correct information is on there. If you're a new company or an existing company that wants to change their invoice format or style and you need some help with that, feel free to give us a call. We're invoice experts here at Eagle Business Credit.